Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a summer clothing try on haul for you guys. I've definitely bought a lot recently. I've been buying clothes for my internship and just like revamping my wardrobe for summer in general. So I'm really excited to share everything with you. I feel like I haven't filmed a haul video in a, such a long time and I know I'm gonna ramble, so let's just jump in. So the first place I went was American Eagle. They were having such good sales and they still are. So if you need like anything, definitely go check them out. But the first thing I picked up was this black tube top. These have been super trendy for the last like summer or two, but I've never been ready to embrace them until now. And this one was really cheap. It was only $11.95 for a tube top, which is a pretty good deal in my opinion. And I got a size small for reference. I think it fits really well and I'm super excited to style this with like black shorts or ripped jeans, anything like that. I think it'll be really cute for summer. And then I also picked up a bathing suit from American Eagle and I actually ordered this online because they were out of my size in store but they do have free shipping online for bathing suits so if you want to order something online I'd recommend getting a bathing suit with it because you'll end up paying about the same amount of money for shipping as you would for the bathing suits you might as well get the bathing suit and free shipping that's what I did with um, another order of mine but it's just this black little set. It's kind of like a triangle top bathing suit. And this is so, so cute. Definitely size up though. This is a large. Um, and I'd say I normally wear like a smaller medium in bralettes. Normally a small though. So definitely size up if you want a little bit more coverage. I love how sturdy it is. And it has like a pretty thick clasp in the back. And it's just a really flattering cut. I needed a new like black set. Um, so this has been perfect. And then I love Airy and American Eagle bathing suits because you can choose the different bottoms based on the kind of fit that you want. So I wanted a little bit more of a cheeky bottom. Um, I already have some more full coverage bottoms for when I'm with like a fam, but I wanted something a little bit more cheeky to get a tan or wear to the beach with friends. So I just picked up, I think this is like the thong style. Um, it's called Swim Cheekier Thong. And I got this in a medium as well. So I would size up on this one as well if you don't want it to like hug your hips. So the next place I went was Brandy Melville and I just picked up this red bodysuit. I think it's so cute and perfect for summer. I love the straight neck and it's got a thong bottom which is really nice so that it doesn't show through any of like your jeans or skirts or anything like that. I think this looks really good with like ripped uh, boyfriend jeans but I also think it looks really good tucked into a tighter skirt with heels for a night out. So like I said, it's super versatile and super comfortable. So if you're in the market for a red bodysuit, definitely check out Brandy Melville. They have a bunch of different styles right now. Then the next place I went was Target and I just picked up a pair of shoes. They're these little mule slides. Um, I got these for my internship. It's like kind of a more casual shoe that I can still walk in around the city because they have like the chunkier heel, but they're still um, relatively close toed. So I think they're a little bit more appropriate than like a sandal or a heel would be for some days in the office. I absolutely love the style of these. I was eyeing a similar pair all last summer, but I never ended up buying them. So when I saw these at Target for like $25, I figured it was kind of a no-brainer. I'm having a little bit of issue breaking them in, but I'm hoping that once I get over that ledge, they'll be totally good. So I'll keep you guys posted, but I do think that they're really cute. I think I'm going to wear them again tonight and try to break them in a little bit more. So if you get these, get some band-aids as well. <laughs> Then the next place I went was Madewell, which is one of my all-time favorite stores. I absolutely love Madewell, and I've been eyeing this card case for a pretty long time now, and I decided to finally bite the bullet on it. So it's just a black leather card case. I've been trying to get out of the habit of carrying my Vera Bradley like coin purse with me and using like a keychain and a wallet and a purse and like a real adult setup, if that makes sense. I really love the quality of Madewell and I think all of their products wear well with time, which is really important to me. So I absolutely love this. I think it's perfect. It holds just the right amount for me and I'm definitely going to be using this this summer. And then the last thing I picked up from Madewell was a pair of sunglasses and I've been eyeing similar glasses to these for such a long time. I've been looking at the Ray-Ban version of these kind of rounded sunglasses in either like the silver or the brown color and I saw these at Madewell and thought that they were absolutely perfect. They come at a much much cheaper price point. I believe these were only 55 compared to the Ray-Bans that are honestly close to 200 I think. And they're really good quality so far, especially for like a trendier sunglass piece. I've been getting a ton of wear out of these and compliments when I wear them out. So I'll leave a link to these down below. If you guys are interested in sunglasses, definitely check out Madewell. Sorry if the lighting just changed. I have two really big skylights in my room, which is making setting up the lighting a little bit difficult, but we're getting through it. So the next place I went was TJ Maxx and I picked up this really cute shirt 
from the brand Kenzie Jeans. I've never heard of it, but this is also something I get a lot of compliments on when I wear. I thought that this would be perfect for my internship. It's like a very classy, creamish white shirt with a lot of detail, and it has a very slight peplum detail to it, but it's not like 2011 peplum that was like really a statement. It's just kind of subtle, and it's really, really nice. It buttons in the back and I normally just wear like a white cropped tank under this because it is just a little bit sheer as you can see like you can kind of see my hand through it um, but I've been loving pairing this with like a nice pair of pants and heels to wear to work with like a blazer over it I think it's really great but it's also cute like I would probably wear this to class in the fall um, especially if I had like a presentation or I just wasn't feeling lazy for the day so I've been absolutely loving this the next shirt I have is also a little bit more dressy and formal, and this is from J. Crew. It's like this black wrap. Actually, it's not black. This really fucked me up when I learned this because this looks black to me. Like I'm wearing black right now, and this, in my opinion, looks like it matches. I'm very specific with colors. Like I notice when things are navy versus black. So I was looking at this the other day, and I realized that the color code on the tag is darkest navy. And like if you hold it up to black, it looks like the slightest, slightest bit off, but it's not necessarily navy. Like when you pair it with navy jeans, it looks weird. Or like navy dress pants, it also looks weird. So it's like essentially black, but not quite, which is driving me insane. So if you order this online, make sure you actually get the black one, if that's like something you're interested in, I guess. But anyway, I absolutely love this top. It's like this nice kind of thicker material, and it kind of has this little cross here in the front and then it ties down here and zips up on the side. And it's a really nice thick material. I think it looks super professional and it would look good with like a skirt or a nice pair of jeans. I've been getting a ton of wear out of it. I love pairing it with these like bold red earrings that I have. It's a perfect fun top that's still professional. So the next item I picked up is also definitely more on the professional side. And this is a dress from H&M. This is probably one of the more expensive dresses I've bought in, in a while. It was around $50, I want to say, from H&M. I don't know if I said that already. This is from H&M. And I got this for my internship as well. It's just this kind of plaid um, dress with these little puff sleeves. And then it just goes down. It's pretty long. The dress comes right to my knees, which is perfect because that's what I need for my internship. And it kind of has that same keyhole loop in the back. This is definitely something that I considered more of an investment piece that I'd get a lot of use out of in the next couple years as I do like job interviews and go full time with a company eventually. Um, I think it's a really great dress and it's well made. So if you're having trouble finding cute internship clothes, definitely check out H&M. Um, TJ Maxx is also good. J. Crew and Madewell are great. Um, they're a little bit more expensive compared to like H&M and TJ Maxx, but still good options. And then the last place I ordered from was Forever 21 and I ordered a romper and a dress. So the first thing I picked up is this romper and I am obsessed with it. Actually, I guess it's a jumpsuit, but it's this white grid jumpsuit and it's kind of short. It comes like a little bit below my knees, which I'm just not used to seeing on my body. So it took a little bit of time for me to get used to, but I absolutely love this. I think it's so fun. It's like a nice thick material and in the back, it's not low cut, but it's not like super high up in your back and it just ties here. So there's a little bit exposed and I got this to wear kind of like out to town um, to get like brunch on weekends. But I also think that if you wore this with like nice shoes and had a blazer over it, you could totally get away with this in some offices. I think I could at mine. Obviously that's kind of a case by case thing, but I really, really like this. I think it's super flattering on. I wore it to a graduation the other day and I just really, really like it. It's definitely outside of my comfort zone, especially in terms of like cut. You guys will definitely be seeing this on my Instagram later this summer. And then the last dress I ordered from Forever 21, I am absolutely obsessed with. I saw this in store probably a couple weeks ago, but they didn't have my size and I was super bummed about it because I've been on the hunt um, for a dress like this since I was in London this past fall. I saw one in a store over there and I just like, again, they didn't have my size and I've just been thinking about it since. And this is like essentially a dupe for it. It's just like this black straight neck, um, short little bodycon dress and it's so cute i absolutely love this i think it's such a staple in a wardrobe to have like a nice not tight but tight little black dress i think this is going to be so perfect for going out the straps in the back are adjustable and it's just so flattering on and this was really affordable i think it was like 15.90 so it was a really good price and i am so excited to wear this out it's a nice thick material it doesn't look like it's 15 dollars and I absolutely love this. They have it in a couple other colors too. So if you're into this kind of straight neck style as well, definitely check this out. I'll try to leave links down below too as much as possible. 
so that's actually everything for this summer clothing try on haul video if you guys want a part two to this definitely comment that down below i have placed a couple more orders that i'm waiting to come on into my apartment so i definitely could film a part two to this if you guys would be interested if you have any other video requests make sure to leave those down below as well if you just want to chat everything can go in the comment section you guys know the drill all of my social media will be linked in the description box down below and with all that being said i will talk to you guys next time bye